What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJTV. I hope you guys enjoyed that little intro there, just me getting ready for work. I am obviously here now and uh, ready to crack on with the day. I'm on a late shift today so I've already trained this morning, feeling good, feeling energetic, feeling positive. So, it's going to be a good day, it's going to be a good video. Let you play with the stick, oh Rex King. She calling, she texting, she's falling. But let me explain. Gotta tell your old boyfriend, skate girl, cause a nigga don't play them X games. Oh, the stuff dreams are made of. So it's the following day. Today is the day where I have to go to the dentist. Not too sure what I think about that. I'm not scared of the dentist or anything like that. You know how people are like, scared of the drills, scared of the needles if you need a filling. And I'm not scared as such. I just haven't been for years and so God knows what needs doing. I had two temporary fillings a few years back that are going to need redoing. So I know I'm going to need a couple of bits doing. But I would not be surprised if I needed bits on top of that. So, this is going to be interesting. Let's go. So I've just arrived and um, I've pulled into the car park, I've never been here before, they never gave me any information about parking, um, but the assumption is when you come in to pay a fortune at the dentist that they're going to have a little bit of parking spaces. That is not the case, not free anyway. I'm gonna pay for frigging parking, man. Okay. Houston, we have a problem. 60p. Let's see what we can get with this. How long am I gonna be at the dentist? I mean, I'm literally paying 40p because that's all I have. But, I mean, come on. Thank you. Hiya, um, Liam. 20 minutes later. Well, I am annoyed, to, to say the least, to be honest. I mean, I rang up on the phone um, and said, look, I'm in a lot of pain, I need something doing. And they're like, right, okay, so, you know, because I wasn't registered anywhere, so I needed to register at this place. And I said, right, okay, so if I come for this and this and this tomorrow, um, will something be able to be done? In other words, I need something doing to my face because it hurts. And they were like, yeah, 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 cool. And so the dentist did like a full check over and basically I don't need any fillings. There's no major problems other than a little bit of plaque, which is like common, which is the same with everybody. Um, and basically there's nothing wrong with my teeth, which is a good thing, don't get me wrong. But then what the hell is causing this pain? Because she was like, oh, are you stressed, this and this? And I was like, no, I'm a pretty chilled out guy. I've got a job that I enjoy. I've got a girlfriend. I'm happy with that. It just didn't seem to be good enough um, of an excuse. I mean, it makes sense. People grind teeth while they're sleeping. And you don't necessarily have to be stressed for that to be the case. Um, some people just do it out of habit. And maybe I am doing that. She advised me to wear a mouth guard whilst training and stuff like that, which is probably not going to happen. I'm not going to lie. But I'm glad that I don't need any fillings because that was kind of what I expected. Um, but hey, I don't know. This will be interesting. Right, tell me you guys, have you ever been to the dentist? Have you had a wild dentist experience that you're not happy with? Have you had, you know, a bad experience? Something that you had done that didn't, didn't need doing? I was speaking to some people at work and they were talking about the fact that they had fillings and didn't need it. They filled in the wrong teeth and all sorts, all sorts. Let me know, let me know in the comments. Right, let's go home and train. There's a place for us. Let's tango, baby. Why you always for me? Let's tango, baby. Not going anywhere. Fuck. Glow, try to cold, hide it, even way out in London town. Hoes holler cause they love my sound. And I got love for the underground. Quali, pimp seat, H-Town will bring it down. Met a bad bitch that'll cut all night, that'll suck all night. 
you just cut off like change of plan. Whoa, well, yes. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Let me explain. Let me explain. I know in the last video I said I was gonna lose a few more pounds. I was gonna be good with my diet, but don't worry guys. Don't worry. That pizza was zero calories. These past couple of days I've not really been feeling um myself purely because of my teeth. Um and it sounds stupid that something as simple as toothache can kind of irritate you and affect you so much, but um it means that I can't really train like yesterday. I was gonna train and instead I ended up having pizza. You know how when you grit your teeth when you're training, that causes me right now absolute agony. And so I can't really do that right now and it's actually been advised for me not to. So I am just gonna take a couple of days off. I'm gonna listen to the advice I've been given. I'm gonna take paracetamol um, for three days. Whether I feel like I need it or not, I've been advised to take it because it's like an anti-inflammatory and they think, that, like, I don't know whether it's my gums or what. So I'm gonna stick to that. Alongside that, I have had to pick up this spray ear calm. I'm not entirely sure what it is, whether you guys have ever used it. Um, but I went to the doctors this morning because I woke up in just to be honest complete agony i couldn't i couldn't and still can't close my mouth um properly i can't eat i can't chew because even if i eat on the other side of my mouth then it hurts this side like a ridiculous amount and so i went and seen someone i went to the hospital we had to wait for about an hour but it was worth it because he thinks it might be something ear related now it makes sense that the dentist said that it's not dental they said my teeth are fine i don't need any fillings my gums are fine um which is good but it does mean that the issue is coming from somewhere else. And this person that I spoke to this morning thinks it might be from my ears. Which does make sense. So what I am going to do is shake well before use, place the nozzle tip gently into your ear, press the pump once to deliver the measured dose. Sounds fairly simple, sounds fairly self-explanatory, right? Let's see, right, okay. That's not what I was expecting. This is just something that you can pick up over the counter, but I wouldn't recommend just going and picking up anything. Like, go and see somebody first. Like, I've been advised to take this. I've not just gone, oh, I think it might be that. I'll take it. So, just just be careful, guys, right? Does that count as shaken well? Eight quid this cost me, by the way, so I hope it works. I had to pay for parking, I had to pay for dentist. Man, this, this is costly, this adult life. Okay, so just, hang on, let me just check. Shake well, place nozzle into your ear, press pump once to deliver measured dose. So do I need to, like, tilt? Oh, oh, that's weird. Okay, it says just one pump. I don't know whether it went in properly. I felt like an immediate clearing of my ear. That was weird. It was like it got cleaned by this being pumped through it. Okay, I think I'm good. <laughs> but anyway, Liverpool were playing Tottenham today. I am a lifelong Liverpool fan. So let's go. Glow, try to cold, hide it, even wait out in London town. Hoes holler cause they love my sound. And I got love for the underground. Quietly, uh, pimp seat, uh, H-Town will bring it down. Met a bad bitch that'll cut all night, that'll suck all night, you just cut off like. Another thing that everybody's gonna be talking about on social media is their thoughts on the, wow, bright light. It's their thoughts on the Olympia, right? And so I am glad that Brion won. I am a massive Brion fan. If you don't know Brion, I'll put him up here. He is the classic physique, now two-time Olympia champion. There's going to be some of you wondering at home why on earth I actually give a about this. Well, I actually do want to compete one day. What division and when it will be, I have no idea, but I would like to compete. So I kind of keep up with the bodybuilding side of things. Sort of, I'm a bit of a part-time fan when it comes to like the Olympia and the Arnold and stuff like that. But anyway, so... Brian won the classic physique. But the biggest shock was that Jeremy Bonida, I think I said his name right, um, I think everybody was kind of expecting him to win just because of who he was, but he had a massive injury, had to come back. He still looked really great, but he didn't look quite as good as the winner. And finally, the one that I am over the freaking moon about is that we have a new open bodybuilding champion. That is not Phil Heath. Now, I have nothing against Phil Heath. I'm sure he's a lovely guy, but no one likes someone that keeps winning and winning and winning and winning and winning. You always want, especially me in particular, want an underdog to win. And so, we have a brand new open champion. So you can just see the confidence and like almost 
the fake confidence coming out of Phil Heath. He was worried. He knew that he'd been beaten by Sean. And I think the best part of it is, is that Sean, I mean, to be honest, I didn't know an awful lot about the guy until yesterday, but he seems really nice. And I love it when bodybuilders can actually get along, talk to other bodybuilders. You know, like when Arnold Schwarzenegger was like in his prime and everyone got along, they all trained together, they all moved to California, and that was the dream, you know, that was what, if you wanted to be a bodybuilder, that was what you did, and you got along, and then you just competed against each other, you were friends, right? That doesn't really happen nowadays, and so it's nice to see someone who, you know, seems like a nice guy, um, win. Scenes, absolute scenes. Right, so let's finish off today's video by congratulating Sean Roden and all of the other winners. Commiserations to Phil Heath. I'm sure you will come back and win an eighth one. I'm, I'm sure you will. I have no doubt about that because... Phil Heath, he just will. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Please drop it a like and a comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. Stay tuned for the next video, which will be live on Wednesday. We are back to the Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday schedule. Maybe an extra one or two in between. Who knows? I've been putting in the effort lately. Right, so again, drop a like if you have enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Together, we will grow. I'll see you guys in the next video. I ain't got no kids yet, but this right here's for practice. I hate to get the seats in the bins wet, but that's how good your ass is. Make